Check out how we made this geometric plywood countertop for our new boho laundry room. Love how this came out and would love to show you how we did it. The clean angled lines on this countertop can be replicated for a tabletop, a countertop, or any project you're working on. We started by ripping down 3 quarter inch plywood to serve as the base. But see, I'm using a circular saw and I was just following a line. It's not perfect. Luckily it was for the bottom layer, so it doesn't have to be exactly on point. But that's actually what we want to talk to you about that's best about this video. We knew we could get away with some following the line cuts for the base piece, but for the top part, in order to get that geometric look, we were going to need something that was a lot more accurate. So we turned to the brand new Craig Straight Edge Guide. This is a guide for your circular saw that can span the entire length of a piece of plywood. The Straight Edge Guide is a guide for your circular saw that clamps directly onto a piece of plywood and allows you to make extremely accurate, straight, simple cuts any direction that you need to go. It's really unsafe and inaccurate to try to push a large sheet of plywood through a table saw and as you saw before, pushing a circular saw along a line is not the easiest thing and you can never trust a 2x4. So here's how the Straight Edge Guide works. You mark lines on each end of your plywood in the length that you want it to be and then you use the retractable guides to set those up to mark where your circular saw blade goes. Then you simply push those out of the way, push your circular saw through, and you will have a long cut that you need on your plywood. The straight edge guide allows you to set your circular saw width exactly what it is for your saw. This makes it easy to make repetitive simple cuts with no problems. Once we had all the strips cut, we cut the angles on the miter saw and then started applying them to the backer of the 3 quarter inch board that we had cut before. Here we drew out quadrants and we put the angled pieces on top of there. Each quadrant is a mirror of the other quadrant next to it, so we were able to make simple cuts repetitively for of each size board and then slide them right on. We clamped everything down and once it was done, it looked a lot like this. We had to use a lot of pressure, so we actually clamped another piece of plywood on top just to make sure everything was flat and smooth. Then we cut off all the jagged edges sticking over the edge of the 3 quarter inch backer. We started by just doing a rough cut and then getting a lot closer with a circular saw to make sure every edge was flush with the base layer. Then we added edge banding after sanding. We sanded everything smooth including the edges and used iron on edge banding to make a smooth clean look that made this look like one thick piece of wood. After the edge banding, it was time for stain. We used golden oak to match the other pieces that we had done in our boho laundry room and we really think that this looks natural and we love how it works with the green on the walls. Then we slid it right into place on some strips of plywood that we had screwed into the studs of the wall, added the little riser that we made to cover up the electrical and water hookups, and we were good to go. This geometric wood top can be used for a lot of different things and we absolutely love how it looks in this laundry room. Those lines and angles are so cool and make this such a unique piece. Learn more about the project and how to do things like this at charlestoncrafted.com.